Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. Okay, look, I gotta fess up. I gotta fess up. I know that I promised you, and I said, yeah, next episode we're doing interiors. Darn it, yes we are, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're not. <laughs> and if, if you clicked on the video, then you know that already. But look, an idea hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I was just sitting there, and I was thinking about this area and how much I love this world, what I'm going to do next, and blah, blah, blah. And then, all of a sudden, it's like, bam, a ton of brick books was just dropped on my head. This area right here should be a barracks. Because look... Here's the thing. We already know that this is not a absolutely peaceful world. We already know that over there, where the pillager outpost is, those are the baddies. The baddies live over there. So these people need to have some sort of troops, some people to defend them in case of raids and in case of uh, armed conflict. And so why not? We have all these giant walls. What are they defending themselves against, if not uh, bad people right so it's time to build right here right in this area we're going to build a garrison barracks soldier area and it's going to take up basically this entire shape like if you look at it, it kind of looks like an upside down v that's the idea and i think it's just going to be just just freaking awesome so what we're going to have is we're going to actually have a wall within a wall. And I think that is going to be a super cool way to sort of keep this whole area in in the city, but also kind of on the outskirts. Like they'll have their own exit, maybe in that like straightaway right there where they can exit and they can rush out and they can fight, whatever, you know. Um, maybe they'll have their own access to their own bridge that goes sort of that direction. So that way they can fight in any direction that you want. You know, eventually what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to decide these, these these bad guys who live over there, like, we're going to need some sort of wall. And so there's going to be a wall over there, but we, we just have to work our way, you know, the entire way over there with builds and all that kind of stuff. And that's obviously that's quite a long way away from now. But what I did is I just grabbed a whole bunch of cobblestone because we're going to start with just regular old cobblestone and probably cracked stone brick. And we are just going to do basically about this. We're just going to go in a, a a few blocks away, a few blocks away from the edge, and we're just going to go down kind of like this. And because um, I, I what I'll do is then I'll put andesite on the outside of this, and then I'll, I'll bring the blackstone up to the edge. I think that probably makes the most sense as far as the build goes. But that all being said, I'm gonna lay out the roads now and I'm gonna try really hard to not have any sort of pattern. Like I'm not going, you know, three blocks. I'm just gonna go really organic sort of shape. Like I think that's gonna look the coolest from uh, above whenever you're walking out there. But yeah, so that way, whenever you walk in this this doorway, this hey, it's not much of a gate yet. It will be eventually in time. It's just not, we're not quite there yet. But whenever you walk in this gate, you're going to have a wall right on the side of you. And I think even that's going to add something because that's going to frame in what's going on here because these will all be houses, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm super excited. So sorry about the change of plans for the, the interior episode. We will get to that. I actually have a plan exactly how I want to do that. that I think is going to be a really fun, really uh, unique kind of way for us to do it. But this just took precedent because I thought of the idea and I was like, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to do that. And I want to do it like right now. That's the plan. So let's get this laid out. And uh, maybe build up just a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll discuss kind of what what uh, what next. Let's take a look now. You know, I said this. Uh, when was it? Maybe when we were building the diagonal diagonal castle up there. I sometimes you can lay out just you know how people do just one block on the on the ground, and then sometimes you can't still really feel it. Like you can see it, you can see the shape and you can see the outline, but you can't really feel it until you get a little bit more of stuff laid out. So let's take a look right now and just eh, just see how it feels, you know, and see if it feels like it's it's the right shape, the right move and all that kind of stuff. So let's fly up here and get, oh, that's a fish, not a rocket. Let's fly up here and get a little bit of a vantage point and see, oh man, oh, this is gonna be so cool, okay. So, so here's what we got. So I have a little tower here, a medium tower over there. I think I'm probably gonna put another tower like about here, somewhere sort of in the middle. Cause I want, you know, these guys, again, they would, they would have guards, right? And then all along here, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do about the dock because I don't want to necessarily have giant towers that chip into it. So I might not along the dock. I kind of feel like maybe these towers over here are enough along the river and stuff. So I might just do this one and that one over there and then just let, let sort of the roof line go there. But one thing I wanted to work out together is this area, the diagonal gate that we're going to have. This gate's going to sort of walk in the area. So since, 
since it's a diagonal gate, I don't necessarily need to have a diagonal building here. I think what I can do actually is go count this as one and just go out two on both sides, skip the corner, come in one, two, three, four, five, like that. And uh, I, I think that'll, I think that'll look, cause it, then it'll look like, it'll kind of look like the gate straight and these are diagonal sort of. And I think that's going to be kind of cool. So here we have one, two like this, and then we'll do one, two, three, like that, like this. Uh, so many wolves. There are just so many wolves here. So something along these lines, I think, could be cool. Now I've been I've been cooking up some crackstone brick, and I it's a, it's a little bit slow going. So I have I have a little bit of it um, done, but I want to sort of uh, I want to feather in the crackstone brick with the cobblestone. But I know that a lot like this is going to be primarily covered in andesite in the bottom because I'm going to sort of copy what I did up here just so it's it's similar. So it's the same sort of vibe. So I can go up about this high, knowing that most of this cobble is going to be covered in, in andesite. And it's not going to be a big deal. So that's why, uh, that that's why I did this. Also, I'm keeping these two walls the same height, so that when you walk down here, um, you're sort of in the trench of of with walls and stuff like that. That way, if you're if you're invading this garrison from from the town, oh boy, arrows are going to uh, rain down on you. Okay, all right, time to go sleep and get to work. All right then, do we feel like we're in a garrison? <laughs> does this feel like the beginning of a barracks? I, I kind of feel like it does. I, you know, there's so many possibilities here. This is really cool. With this area being built up like this, uh, remember this is all custom land. This was not like this originally, uh, but this could be like an archery area down here. I could have some maybe I don't know, school room, like how to soldier rooms up there. Maybe back in here could be, we might even cover this all in. This whole place could be covered in and this could be like where they live. Like the living quarters type of situation. This, The possibilities here are endless. This is the way out. I think I think it's cool. It feels like you're sort of walking down, you know, you're going to take your shot in the, uh, the, the Death Star, right? And launch your, uh, your proton torpedoes. And then over here, maybe we'd have, I don't know, maybe a few different like outside things, like certainly an armor, uh, maybe maybe a, a, sword, a swords area. Like I'm thinking maybe some of the instructors could be up there. Like we'll, we'll build, oh, I mean, there's so many, oh, this is so good. There's so many possibilities here. This is really great. Okay, so I'm very, very psyched about what we have going on here. I'll take that into sight. So the next thing, what's the next thing here? Well, I think the next thing is I should probably work on the the um, top of the walls so they look kind of like that. Because ideally what I'd like to have is I'd like to have this area kind of look like the walls are are all the same. which And they can be, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring out the, the design they have here. We'll just copy, we'll go right down here and right out here. And uh, yeah, I think it'll just be super cool. But oh, I'm into this. This is awesome barracks. All right, now we're starting to feel it. Now we're starting to feel it. Check out the shape of this thing. Oh, this is going to be so cool. We're going to be working here for several episodes. I'll probably mix it, mix in some different things. But yes, yes, yes. This is going to be amazing, amazing garrison uh, barracks sort of situation here. I love it. Love it so much. So. The next step that I'm going to have to do, very unfortunately for me, for me and my grind factor, is I'm going to have to go grind up a whole bunch of spruce yet again. Because if you take a look at the at the walls, because I am going to, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to copy this exact wall situation here. It's all just so much spruce. So I'm going to need a whole bunch of spruce, both um, is planks, stairs, and also the logs to give the supports to the roof. Because I think I will go ahead and put a roof on this whole place that's just going to wind around here. I think it'll be, uh, yeah, it's just going to look super cool. So it's grind time for me. Y'all go, go have a coffee. Uh, I'm going to be here for a little while. I've been working uh, really hard on this over the last day or day and a half or so, and uh, I, I think I think the barracks itself is really coming along. Now we're not going to be putting any buildings in or any of that kind of stuff today. This is the foundation part where we have a nice set of walls. Oh, I mean, it looks so cool. It, it almost looks like a whole other part of the city. I mean, it is, I guess, 
I guess a whole other part of the city, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's super cool. I really love it. So, so here I put in all this. I made it made it look a little bit more rickety. I wanted this wall to seem maybe a little bit older than the outer walls, thinking that they'd build the inner stuff first, and then as the city expands, they kind of keep putting more walls further out. So the further out walls would actually be nicer than the most inner walls, and this is you know more in than that. You you know you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Okay. So so yeah. So this is the basic plan here now. Probably what we'll do in a coming episode is work on these towers and get them all up. These towers are going to be fairly simple because they are going to be all... Well, you can't see from here. Yeah, you can kind of. Those, see those square towers really far over there? Those... That's going to be basically this out here. And they're just square, and they're pretty simple. But I want them to be simple because I don't want them to take away from all the nice spires and all the interesting stuff that we have going on sort of up in the nicer parts of the castle, right? So these will all just be, you know, regular old flat... Uh, the rectangle square sort of things this gate is going to be kind of interesting that it's an angle that's going to take probably a little bit of work but we'll get that we'll get that all in good time but uh the next thing and the final thing i probably want to do today is i think i want to lay out the roads and the sections of of this this place right i, I want to i want to kind of come up with with an idea of how it's going to be now here's the thing there's not a lot of room in here. I mean, it's pretty big, but these inner walls coming right through the middle of it really take up a lot of room. I, I know that down there, I definitely want to have like the training grounds. Like we'll have part archery grounds, part like sort of dummy sword, sword play grounds right down there. I'm kind of thinking that we're going to do a nice uh, standalone, maybe like wooden wall, like a pretty flat one, I think maybe going all along here rather than a real natural type of thing. I think that could look a lot better. So why don't I landscape that up where I, I, I sort of flatten it out. So here, let me show you what I'm saying. So you're going to walk in here, right? You're going to walk in right here and you're going to have a choice. You're going to go up this way, straight into the training grounds, or you're going to loop around and go over here. But what I'm thinking is that this area like here, like right along here, maybe this area is just going to be flat, you know? Um, I'm not sure yet, but but I, I, I feel like that's the right move, right? Like really, we're going to really like... Uh, I don't know, like straighten these up and then we'll put like a wood, maybe a wood based, you know, it would be easier to show you. Why don't I go get some wood and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Something like this maybe is kind of what I'm thinking, like, you know, a, a lot more structural, right? So, and then we'll bring this up. Now, I, I'm kind of thinking, I wasn't thinking this originally, but I'm kind of thinking maybe we do two tiers here. Like maybe we go here, let me see, how high would it be? It'd only be three tall. Uh, so then maybe we'd have to go up like something like this, right? And then bring the grass here. I'm almost thinking that would be kind of cool, you know, and, the, and then you could have like maybe the, the, the teachers, I'm thinking maybe would stand up here. In fact, maybe it's not even grass. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like a, like a, like a stone mix, you know? Let, let's build this up and see if we can get maybe a little bit better of an, uh, of an idea of what this is going to be, uh, in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is I think this is a good feeling. I think this is going to be really nice. So, you know, imagine you're going to come down here and this is where there there'd be all the all the work areas. Yeah, this could this could be really cool. We'll have to really mess up this this ground right here so it can't be uh, you know, can't be beautiful grass. So, I'm thinking that another thing that we should probably end up doing is have a little bit of a plan for some, where some buildings might be like for example maybe the archery area is right here this would make sense right they'd be shooting no one would be in danger you know because they'd be <laughs> probably good enough to not shoot way up there right so the archers would be shooting like here like say here right so this could be maybe the archery area right and then they'd come over here and maybe here there'd be like a fletcher you know something like uh along in here hmm yeah and then over here Maybe against this wall would be like uh, sword sword fighting, sword, sword fighting zones, right? Something like that. And then maybe in this area, there'd be like an armor, right? Something like that. So that way, you say like they try out a sword and they're like, yeah, this isn't quite it. I, I don't really like it. Then whatever. They walk over here and they try out a different sword. Something like that. You know, an idea? I, I think that's not terrible. I think that's not terrible. So, okay. So that's cool. That's a good start. Let's get some signs made and we'll start marking some things up here. Just laying out the roads here. Who wants to hear a little secret just between you and me? Anyone? Raise your hand. In, re in real life, if you're listening to the video, raise your hand if you want to hear a little secret. Okay, so I got one. I got one here. I have figured out what I'm going to do in this series 
uh, up until at least episode 300, okay? That's my secret. I'm going to let you in on a little bit of it, okay? So here's the plan. We are going to go 200 episodes in this season, and then season two. So this season will be 200 episodes, all working within this kingdom. Season two, starting episode 201. Oh, yeah, you know where we're going? Probably. <laughs> you know where we're going? We're going to the bad guys. We're going to build the evil, the evil bad guys kingdom over there where the pillagers live. That'll be a pillager farm, other new farms, and uh, a very imposing dark evil thing so that's where we are so we're we have that means we only have like 30 episodes or 30 you know 31 32 episodes left this season to finish up everything in this kingdom so it's a lot of stuff all right i got some roads laid out here i think this is i think this is really good the one th thing that i want to do i guess left sort of now is i want to do this thing that i did here over here so what we're going to do is we're going to peel all this back and make this just a little bit wider and actually probably pretty straight i think um and that way they'll have enough room the uh that the instructors <laughs> will have enough room here to instruct and uh you know tell their students what they're doing wrong and all that kind of stuff so we'll do that i don't know something like this is that cool let's sleep Let's make a block that we have never made and never really thought that we would. It's time to make, well, I already made it, actually. The target. Let's make the target and just, let's play with it and just see exactly what it's all about. This is completely new to me. In fact, I don't even really know if it'll if it'll work. Can I sleep? Can I sleep? Can I sleep? Okay, I'm really psyched about this. I'm really psyched. I kind of made my first mini game in this world. You know, every every 168 episodes, like clockwork, I make a mini game. And uh, check it out. So this is where all the instructors, they're going to stand up here. They're going to look over here. They're going to watch their uh, watch their students. This is, this is maybe a little high. I kind of I kind of have a little bit of, of regret for putting. Yeah, it's a little little tough to little little tough to see. But uh, oh, come back, come uh, give me that, give me that. Where'd the other one go? Anyway, look at this. I made the mini game. I made an archery mini game. And uh, I, yeah, that's right. I did the redstone wiring myself. So check it out. Ready? Shoot. Oh, that's a two already. One is is nearly impossible. Oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Basically, it's easier than I thought. Hold on. Can I, can I get this one? One? Yeah, this one actually is harder. This is like the expert level one. This one you have to get. So the way I did it, you have to get this one like <laughs> exactly on the bullseye. Uh, this one over here, I think you can be on the second to ring to get all three. No, maybe not. Maybe I just happened to nail it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. So, you, get, you, all, you know, one, two, or three, if you, if you get on the very edge. Then you get one. And uh, yeah, pretty cool with the target blocks, right? So um, I, unfortunately, I, I tried this. I, I don't I don't totally love this. So what I was thinking about trying is maybe maybe putting in like like fence gates uh, going up here, like to keep to keep the, them separate and also keep all the all the arrows in. But then you can also kind of see. I don't know. I I didn't really like it either. So I'm, I think I might leave it open, even though acknowledging that that by, you know, by leaving it open, that means that uh, that's all right. That 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 arrows could fly, but I I think it's all right. I think it's all right. And then over here, what we'll do is we'll get rid of this. I'm just I'm using this because I'm so lazy. It takes too long to walk around. And you check out all the redstone wiring over here. Some genius, brilliant redstone wiring. I, I will uh, I will tell you straight up that is that is the truth. And then we'll just come right along here, get rid of that, and there we go. So now we have this beautiful archery. I think it's really, really, really cool. I really like it. Okay, uh, so I have a little bit more stuff to finish, and I do want to do the uh, question or uh, comment of the day. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, uh, so let me let me finish up. There's just a couple little ground things I want to do, and then, then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about maybe the roads and stuff here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I really like it. It's very cool, I think. I think it's very, 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 very nice. A nice start to this uh, barracks sort of area. Yeah, that's not bad. I, I went ahead and used a lot of greenery, you know? I I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, heavily used barracks uh, probably wouldn't have a lot of shrubbery and stuff near their only archery training station, but uh, it looks so much better than I did it anyway. So, so I think we're just going to go with it. I think we're just going to go with it for right now. Hmm, should I throw in a little bit of light? Maybe I should. Let's put in just a hair of light. Just that much. Just in the front. Just to dress that up just a little bit. Okay, so yeah. So th this works, actually. It works great. Let's see if I can nail it. Can I get it first try? 
No. <laughs> that was only a one. Really? That was only a one? That's not very good. There we go, all three. Okay. All right. A anyway, yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of cool. It's going to be a fun little game to play over here. I did throw in this little fletching area here with some fletching tables that are useless still in 116 point. Oh, by the way, I'm in 116.200 full ray tracing uh, thing. Do y'all want to see the world in ray tracing? Now, here's the thing. I had to look for a ray tracing uh, texture pack, resource pack. That's why you notice I don't have the fancy skies and stuff because parallax shaders, the, my beloved parallax shaders that I've been using for a long time in this series, almost since, the, well, actually, I think since the beginning, uh, does does not work. It does not work currently in, in 116.200. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're, we're, without, we're without fancy shaders, but we have very fancy ray tracing shaders. The one thing about it is that... I can't, um, I can't find a resource pack that I really, really love. So, because I have to turn this one off because obviously my pack is not made, and uh, the ray tracing bit comes from the texture pack first. Now that we're now that we have the engine, it relies on the texture pack. So I, I'm gonna have to use like a vanilla texture pack that I just found on uh, MC. What is it? MCPEDL.com. Uh, uh, I found one that looked reputable enough, and I, I did test it at work. So why don't we switch over, and we'll just take a little bit of a look, and maybe we'll go do the uh, question and comment of the day, okay? I, I'll, I'll plop it on, we'll take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got full rate. Now, this is a copy of the world. Uh, I, I'm too scared. I'm too scared to use my regular world uh, with this, just in case something goes horribly wrong. But check it out. Full ray trace. Look at some of these textures. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't know that I completely love this pack. Uh, it, I don't think it totally works for me, but um, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll show you which pack it is. It is the... How do I do here? Global Resources Active. It's this. Kelly's RTX Vanilla Conversion. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that I totally love it, but I think you can get the idea of what it is. Look at this. It real ray tracing is at its peak indoors. I think. I think outdoors it looks a little bit. Um, oh, all those those bushes. Oh man, those leaves are nice. Uh, outside, it's, it's it's pretty washed out to be honest. And you can see the andesite. It's not my andesite, you know. Um, yeah, I, I remember now why we changed it. <laughs> I remember why we changed it to the darker gray. It, it's like, what's the point of this andesite? It's just another stone. It's like the exact same gray, slightly different than. I don't know. We've talked about this a lot. Oh, look at the polished black stone, though. Now, if I were building out of this all along, I would make, because I know I'm building myself, I would make probably all the black stone the same sort of level of of this. That way it's consistent because this is, um, it's kind of weird that only a couple blocks are super shiny. And I, I get it. I know why the texture pack was made that way. But, oh, check out these trap doors. This is not bad, right? It's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of, it definitely gives you a different a different feel for the world for sure. I wish I had any interiors done over here. We're gonna fly over to the other part. Now, I, I I believe that the water's supposed to be all reflective and stuff. I do not find that to be the case. So um, I'm not sure what to do there. But let's fly up here again, remembering that we are not in in my resource pack. So things are gonna look a little bit wacky here. But uh, yeah, you know, outside outside is pretty pretty bright and washed out but maybe that's the point you know i know on some bright sunny days i have to squint so hard i can't see anything but let's check out some of these some of these older bills i actually did the interiors to uh if i can find one. Oh, look at that look at there oh that's cool the red uh the red stained glass i that's awesome uh let's see i believe there are some finished interiors over this way my goodness this is this is not good that it's this difficult to find one interior that's done. But yeah, this barn is this barn has something in it. If I can figure out how to get in, how the heck do you get in this barn over here? Okay, so let's go in here and see. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, it's like it's all. Oh, look, it's almost like creepy. Oh, it's super cool. Wow, look at this. And the frames feel really good. I don't know what I don't know exactly what frames I'm getting now, but they feel good. It feels like really fluid. So I would guess I'm getting at least at least 60 so that's awesome uh here's an interior that's done i remember now i should have thought about this before i hit record not here over this way oh man when are we doing these interiors again when, when is that episode oh what's this yellow glass oh that's cool man it really just makes it makes like all the light that color you know, if you don't know, this is the reason why I started Bedrock Survival with Fix was uh, exclusively on Bedrock because I heard that Bedrock uh, 
I heard this was coming. I heard this was coming. And whenever I heard it, I started this series shortly after. And uh, uh, boy, am I glad. Look at this. Oh, this is really cool. Are you guys enjoying this? Oh, man. I don't know if I would... I don't know. Like, I, you know, the frames are way better than I thought they would be. So I don't know that I will play with this all the time. But man, is it cool. Let's go up and check out the um, the the hall. What do you call it? The, the uh, storage hall. And, and see. Oh, plus that little barn, too. Uh, the, so, okay. So one thing that's kind of a drag. Let me see where my settings are video we'll take a look here i am at i am at 16 chunk ray tracing okay so let's go the whole way up to 24 chunk we'll see see how my computer handles it now i'm used to playing like 60 some chunk probably so it's gonna look a lot different but it looks okay i do want to kind of wait till nighttime oh look at this oh man look at that look at the sun Oh, dude, we're, I mean, we're definitely going to do a whole tour with all ray tracing once I find a texture pack that I really, really love, because I think this one's really nice. It's just not, not everything's there, like, um, we won't obviously be able to get, like, my dark in the inside and all that kind of stuff, but something that's maybe just a wee little bit more, uh, closer, closer to what we currently, you know, what we play with on the regular here. Because uh, if you go over and see those diorite cliffs, which are a mixture of endstone and white terracotta and diorite, which works great in my texture pack where everything's white, uh, not so good in this. I have went over and checked that out before before recording. Let's go in the uh, in the castle here because this this is should be really nice. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's so cool. Oh man. Oh man. Look at that. I just oh I wish I wish we had better like uh, sun. Uh, dark, you know, sky and sun and all that kind of stuff. What do you think? Look at this. Oh, man. The way the reflections are and everything, it looks really cool. Ooh, look in here. Look how bright. Oh, man, look at that. I mean, yeah, you can play ray tracing maps because there's a bunch of free ray tracing maps now on the marketplace I can get, but... Oh, oh I love this. I love this. Well, let me grab a question and comment of the day. We'll just keep walking around while, while I read it, Okay. This goes back to episode 160 from Jim Girdler. Uh, seems like that blank space would be a good spot for a lookout slash military post since it overlooks that area. Now, he wasn't talking about exactly this area right uh, where we did build the keep. It was actually a little bit of a different place, but you see, I take all the comments into consideration. That was such a good one. I thought, yeah, military. I think it. I think honestly, Jim. I think that's what planted the seed. I think that's what planted the seed for doing like the barracks sort of thing in my head. And uh, yeah, boy, am I glad I did. Oh, look at the grass. The grass looks really cool with this. Man, I could just walk around like this for a long. If I, I just, oh, I gotta find. I gotta find good RTX enabled um, texture. Unfortunately, and I can't actually believe this, <laughs> but they didn't. They didn't release just a straight up vanilla RTX pack on on the Bedrock Marketplace. Like I am totally shocked that they didn't just do a you know just generic generic RTX. I I, I don't know I, I don't know I, I am shocked. Now there's a bunch of free maps that have their own, but you can't play a texture pack from a map in your own world. You have to sort of uh, play that map with that texture pack. And yeah, I'm really really shocked that. That they didn't, but unfortunately, that is going to wrap it up for me today. I am going to get uh, walk away from the zombie very slowly, and uh, I think I'm just going to let this roll for a little bit. So I'm going to roll credits right now, and uh, you can check out a, uh, a minute or so of just walking around the town at uh, in early, early morning hours here uh, in, uh, in, in Tobolin. Okay, we'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it so much. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.